India's Chandrayaan-3 mission successfully landed its Vikram lander module near the south pole of the moon. India has reached the south pole of the moon where no country in the world could reach to date with the dedication and talent of its scientists. It's a historic moment for humanity as we venture into uncharted territory near the moon's south pole. The success belongs to all of us and holds promise for future scientific achievements that will benefit humanity as a whole. India's Chandrayaan-3 mission successfully landed its Vikram lander module near the south pole of the moon. And what is significant about this is that India has reached the south pole of the moon where no country in the world could reach to date with the dedication and talent of its scientists. My second point, this achievement not only marks India's presence on the moon, but also symbolizes the aspirations of 1.4 billion Indians. Beyond that, it's a historic moment for humanity as we venture into uncharted territory near the moon's south pole. As India's Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, has emphasized, the success belongs to all of us and holds promise for future scientific achievements that will benefit humanity as a whole. And let me quote the Prime Minister of India himself on this. India's successful moon mission is not India's alone. This is a year in which the world is witnessing India's G20 presidency. Our approach of one earth, one family, one future is resonating across the globe. This human-centric approach that we represent has been welcomed universally. Our moon mission is also based on the same human-centric approach. It is something that uh, we we kind of shared this morning. Um, I, I mean, the, the president congratulates India, obviously. It was uh, within the OPGA office, uh, many of the Indian colleagues were, were celebrating that achievement. Yeah. I congratulate India, Indian people, and all those who are involved in the Chandrayaan 3 landing at the moon this afternoon. The whole world is happy. Indians are all over the world are happy. Good luck, India. Best wishes for the future. Congratulating all my fellow Indians on the successful landing of Chandrayaan 3. Today, a history was made as no other country landed their craft on the south pole of moon. It was a very emotional day for all of us. I saw the touchdown. It was a nerve wracking experience for all those people and unbelievable when Mr. Modi came to congratulate all those people who have participated in this. So many local Indian companies, engineering marvel who contributed in the making of this magnificent craft and also engineers, scientists who worked tirelessly for over many, many months to make this landing a successful one. The whole world was watching. I even watched it on the BBC, watched on Sky Channel. Lots of people felt proud that India has landed a craft on the moon, successfully joined the club of just four nations, Russia, America, China, and now India to be in that elite group. So this is a special Independence Day present on the 76th Independence Day when we are already celebrating remarkable success of India. We are building aircraft carrier, we're building supersonic jet, bullet train. We are one of the largest pharmaceutical suppliers. We help fight COVID industry. When we are celebrating so much achievement in such a short period of time since Independent Day, and this today was icing on the cake. And this is, in one word, India on the moon. When you look up on the moon tonight, you will see a trickler flying very proudly. So feel proud. You belong to a very ancient civilization, we all of us, and we will reach that glory once we enjoy it before the invaders came try to destroy us. Stay united, stay positive, stay patriotic. Jai Hind. Congratulations to ISRO and all of the people of India. 
And this is a victory, not just for India, but for the entire world, as we go into this new era of lunar development and India is leading the way. It's amazing to have the success that Chandrayaan-3 has had, given the relatively little amount of resources that India has used. It's just a triumph of Indian innovation, human capital, and the capabilities that will take India even farther. And that's what I'm so excited about. This is just the first step on the amazing journey of discovery that India is on. Having signed the Artemis Accords, now as part of the Artemis Accords effort in the family of nations, this is just the beginning of the journey of India, along with international partners developing the moon, not only for scientific and discovery and exploration with ISRO and civil space agencies, but I'm even more excited about is India's interface development with commercial space companies, such as my own with Redwire, where we're building parts of the Lunar Gateway, developing systems on the moon to create landing pads. India joining the private sector will drive a new golden age in commercial space and can transform what commercial space is, not only for India and the US, but globally. So congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. And again, this is just the beginning of a new era led by India, fantastic to see the flag, and not just Chandrayaan-3 and the hardware and the science, but our values, our shared values between India and the US of democracy, of freedom and liberty on the moon. Congratulations to all.